Hey there, Jean-Chu. It's Andrew again. So I'm quite impressed with the technical detail in this essay. Um, so let's just get stuck straight in. So I think really all you need is a corrections to grammar in this. Your task response is fine. So today, technological innovations, literary works, films and TV productions, and other forms, plural, of creations have been disseminated at an unprecedented speed. There are international and domestic copyright laws regulating the use and distribution of, I would say, this knowledge or this information, on which people hold different views regarding whether it stimulates or stifles creativity. In my opinion, copyright laws have promoted and will continue to promote creativity, and instead of abolishing them, we've used the plural of laws instead of law, uh, relaxing these regulations would make society function better. Maybe relaxing these regulations somewhat, or to a limited extent. Copyright regulations protect the economic benefits of the creators, which works as an inspiration to individuals and the whole of society. If scientists, entrepreneurs and technicians know that their hard work will be protected and reasonably compensated, uh, they would be willing to make greater efforts to push the boundary of current knowledge. For instance, leading technology can be registered as a new patent and the brand with its own specialities we should do this, really. And the brand, with its own specialities, will be accepted as an independent trademark, all of which enables inventors to generate revenue and forbid unauthorized use and distributions. I would say we could use a semicolon there. Two distinct sentences. Nevertheless, these rules have their own drawbacks, plural. The monopoly of advanced knowledge such as the monopoly of advanced knowledge and this should be mitigated by relaxation rather than abolishment sometimes it is true that it um, let's say the enforcement of the enforcement of copyright may possibly empower one corporation to become the dominant cartel uh, in a certain field. Although a cartel is usually a collection of corporations. It's an agreement, it's a group of companies, a group of entities. As it has been proved in our history, I would say proven, and also endorsed by economists, monopoly of any kind, don't need that one, has a detrimental effect on creativity. A stagnant paradox, I'm not sure that fits. I mean, a stagnating paradox, so a paradox that has a stagnating effect, uh, would be somewhat better. Because um, I, I agree with you, it is sort of a paradox that copyright laws are intended to protect creativity, but instead they restrict it. So I'll allow that. To solve this more relaxed, more relaxed legislation, should be adopted. For example, some user-generated content can be allowed and um, let's be more specific. Some user-generated content um, that imitates previous works can be allowed as well as the use of crucial technology that is important to the welfare of the public. So, because we've already said it can be allowed here, and then use this, we don't need it again here. But then what would the effect be? We 
could say this would allow people to create more freely and increase the rate at which humanity makes progress. Therefore, we can reasonably conclude, or it can be reasonably concluded, that copyright laws encourage creativity in most circumstances. Here I would use rather than limiting it, rather than and instead of mean the same thing. And it in fact overcorrects if we abolish all copyright laws and legislations and regulations. Moreover, the negative repercussions brought by it uh, should be solved by relaxation of legislation in certain contexts. Cool. So you've been quite clear on this point. You've been quite clear on this point. Task response is good. Oh. You have no problems with coherence and cohesion. You write well. You have a very broad range of vocabulary for this subject, obviously. Um, it was just some minor grammatical points. Let's move on to your next one. So the graph illustrates the sources from which men in Britain acquire calories at different stages of their lives. Good. For those, age, for those under the age of 24, dairy products such as cheese, milk, butter and cream represent more than 40% of the total intake. All right, so the graph does not tell us... It's, it's fine to state what dairy products are, but this is not included in the graph. So I would just say, dairy products represent more than 40% of the total intake, the largest proportion in this period. During this period, the other three kinds of food, meat, 20% uh, vegetables, 20% and pulses, 18%, play a less important role in men's calorie acquisition. Or composition. Or total caloric composi composition. In the group aged between 25 to 49, 50% of calories are obtained from meat, while the reliance on dairy drops with age, with around 25% in this group. Moreover, there is also a decline in percentage of in the consumption of pulses, 10%, and vegetables around 15%, compared with the younger stage. Men over 50 don't need that. Men over 50 are overwhelmingly absorbing calories from pulses. And again, don't need to define the group. Reaching about 65% in terms of the total calorie intake. By contrast, the figures for dairy, meat and vegetables experience... Um, we don't need this. The figures for dairy, meat and vegetables are decreasing as men get older or as men age, only consisting of 15, 20 and 10% respectively of the total amount. Overall, the dietary structure which males in the UK generate calories from, don't need that, tends to change significantly with age. Men heavily rely on dairy foods before 24 years old, on meat in their 30s and 40s. This should be 30, oops, 30s, and 40s and pulses when turning to the age of 50. Good so once again you, you don't have any problems expressing what we're trying to get you to express um, but there's just there's some stray commas um, and just a couple of slips minor inappropriacies so focus on those small mistakes um, if you haven't already try these websites for reading these guys um, report on scientific journals as the so when, when a paper gets published in a journal that's exciting, these guys report on it in, a, in an academic fashion. So it's articles, so it's for like public consumption, but it is um, academic and good. So I'll send this over to you now. Have a great day, Jianshu, and see you later.